like I said, super cheap, easy cooling system. You get something like this from a company that makes these, and they're gonna spend upwards of 200 bucks just for this, some dryer hose, and a couple clamps. All right, guys, here we are. About to do the second part of the alternator cooling system, which is installing this fan mounted somehow behind that alternator. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but whatever. And ultimately, this fan will be plugged into like a three inch dryer hose, which will be exiting out the bottom front of the vehicle. So when I'm driving, it'll be pushing cold air up in there. I won't need the fan on, and it'll still be hitting the back of the alternator. Also along with the functional hood scoop, which I just installed, which is holding up great. Seems to work great too. All right guys, so we got the fan in pretty much where I want it. And I actually just zip tied it right where it is. It seems to be all right. It's pretty, pretty effing sturdy. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up running hose through here, coming down through here somewhere and out the front down there somewhere but yeah uh i can plug this bad boy in real quick i think and we can try it out see if it works see if we can get these wires to stay in <sighs> Get this all buttoned up and we'll be all set okay guys so the voltage is 14.3 at idle radios on amps are all on just not playing any music or anything the fan is running just to show you that this works we'll unplug the fan the fan is now unplugged and we'll see what happens to the voltage the time right now is 3.21. I'm not gonna film the entire time. Oh, see, we're already dropping. But, I'll get back in a few minutes. Here we go, guys, 3.25. It's basically 14.1 now. So, what we're gonna do is come back, plug in the fan, She's hot. So it is 326. We'll check back with the voltage in a few minutes. All right, guys. Time is 329. We are now at 14.3 already. Nothing has changed other than me plugging the fan in. So I'm actually using more electricity and putting out better voltage. How the hell can you go wrong with that? $20. That's a pretty nice fan. Works pretty good. I don't even have my cold air intake set up on it yet. I may not even need to do it. So, I mean, for 20 bucks, guys, you'd be dumb not to. So thanks guys for checking out the video. Subscribe, like, and uh, hit that notification button. Peace out. So yeah, guys. 14.3 solid, 332, van still running, truck still running, alt still running, and I'll tell you right now, just from feeling it, it's a lot cooler, the back is ice cold, oh man, it's great, so yeah guys, between the hood scoop, alternator cooling system, and the fan cooling system, I don't think we're gonna have any problem. So while I'm driving, the hood scoop will do most of the work. When I stop the demo at shows, we pop the hood, crank the fan on, we stay cold voltage. Peace out.